Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to this SWO Signals channel. I'm out here at my local park today. Uh, brought along my uh, Texan 990X, and I'm going to do some band scans in the lower part of the band today just to see what uh, we find. Uh, the time right now is 11:16, uh, and uh, it's quite pleasant weather here in Florida this morning so far. It's in the uh, mid 70s, low humidity for right now, and this Memorial Day. And uh, happy Memorial Day for those who have served. Thank you for your service. Let's go ahead and get started here. We'll keep it in uh, lower sideband mode at first, and then we'll, I'm sorry, AM mode at first, and then we'll switch it to upper sideband mode. Not sure exactly what we're going to find this time of day with these lower frequencies. These are normally night frequencies. I thought I'd try it and see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, not quite sure what that is. I don't have any uh, frequency listings out here with me in the park to validate what I'm hearing. It could be Radio Marti, possibly, or you know, maybe uh, Radio Havana Cuba. Not sure. Something on 6050 here. Down the noise. Sounds like it could be a Spanish or Portuguese language. I can't even really make out what that is. Sounds like the same, same transmission as 6150. It could be like a Radio China International or something. They sometimes will uh, have um, the same program on multiple frequencies at the same time. Sixty-one eighty-five. Some sort of music being played. Now we're gonna switch over to uh, switch over to upper side man mode. See if we can. Uh, Maybe hit some of these utilities that frequent this band. I believe that uh, little chirp you hear there is a digital motor transmission called Cytor A or Cytor B. Um, I believe. Not quite sure, but uh, that's kind of what it sounds like. Sixty-two fifty. That sounds like it could be our old friend, the Japanese slot machine, which we hear a lot of in the eight thousand bands. Uh, there is uh, three different uh, frequencies in the eight thousand megahertz band that has this on there. I think I've heard it in the 4,000 megahertz band once, and I think this is the first time I've heard it up in the 6. But um, what that is, is um, it's a channel marker, per se, run by the Japanese Navy. <clears throat> that basically just keeps the channel occupied, so in the event that they have to send that on an actual transmission, um, they don't have to worry about somebody else being on it. Uh, Japanese slot machine. There's several videos on YouTube you can uh, search for and uh, get some more information. I guess they call it the slot machine because I guess it sounds like a slot machine when you win or something.
Hmm, that appears to be some uh, digital signal. Maybe a uh, frequency shift keying or FSK or something. Um, sounds like it's at an idle. Which means it's just sending out uh, something, but uh, not an actual message. Maybe a marker of some sort. Something there, it's got a carrier. You can tell if you go back when you hear that uh, high pitched noise, it's usually a carrier on the, on the frequency there. A lot of static crashes this morning. I know we're not due for a storm here in Florida, so maybe it's uh, coming in from somewhere else. Sounds like the old slot machine again. 6445. Sounds like there's something else over it. Maybe a Stanag signal or something. Something there. Sounds like there's a stand egg there with some voice traffic. Probably a pesky or a fisherman. Let's switch to the lower sideband mode. That's usually their mode of transmission. See if we can pick it up. Hmm, I'm not quite sure what that is. Doesn't appear to be uh, more side man. Hmm. It's a mystery. One of the many mysteries on shortwave. Mm -hmm. Radio teletype signal. Probably 6487. Carrier there of a signal. Probably even after broadcast speaking in, I think. There's something strong there. 6423. I'm out here in the park, so I don't know if there would be any local interference, but something maybe. Huh, I wonder what that is. Definitely a carrier there, though. It's... I don't know. That should be uh, New York Radio handling traffic from the international flights over the uh, Atlantic and the Caribbean South area in that area. But uh, aeronautical traffic holds some interesting conversations. If you ever want to monitor one of those frequencies, you can go into like a um, website, you know, eibispace.de, 
It's probably one of the best ones. And look up aeronautical uh, frequencies and just monitor some of them. And some of them have some pretty good, pretty, pretty good conversations. That might be a fisherman on six five seven eight. Stanag, digital uh, mode of transmission and communication, usually by the military. Each Stanag signal has a different sound to it, so it's pretty interesting to listen to them sometimes, just to compare the signals and what they sound like. Sounds like an international broadcast, but it's down in the noise. You can hear something on the upper sideband. Six nine seven four. Almost hear some voices there. Well, there we go. Six to seven thousand kilohertz band scan here in the park. Picked up some interesting stuff. So uh, I'll go ahead and end the video here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like. I'm gonna uh, continue on. I'll probably do a uh, seven to eight thousand band scan next. Pick up some amateur radio, and uh, I know there's some international broadcast in there as well. And uh, see what we hear. Have a good day, everybody.